Serial killers, you know that. I saw some shit on Showtime where them serial killers from driving from state to state killing people and wasn't stopping for gas. That shit, I was by myself, that shit scared shit out of me. I tried to turn to HBO. I got scared. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the real serial killers, the Whitakers. Again, I'm glad you're healthy. Lorraine, same with you. I'm glad you're, you're, you're feeling good. You're looking great. Yeah. The Whitakers have a strong passion for serial killing. They'll do whatever it takes for some frosty flakes. Ray once stabbed a man in his throat just to get his honey bunches to vote and tied another one to the railroad tracks because he had a box of apple jacks. Crazy. White folks will kill you. They don't even have to know you. Why you can't? <laughs> oh, we see them dead. Crazy as cat shit. Folks, it all started from a box of cookie crisps. It was their first bowl of cereal to create all this madness. From there, it was Cocoa Puffs and even Count Chocula. Bubba was in camouflage on a stakeout watching the Kellogg's plant with a pair of binoculars. They asked the crazy white man, crazy white man, why don't you kill your wife? I was sleepwalking. This is a very unusual case. We'll have to study it. Crazy nigga, why don't you kill your wife? I was sleepwalking. Oh, nigga, really? Well, we're going to put you to sleep. We're going to put an end to all of this. No, nigga, there'll be no more walking around. And it was on America's Most Wanted. She's a real outlaw rebel. And once shot a man 39 times for not sharing his fruity pebbles. At 12, she loved pouring a bowl of Rice Krispies to hear the snap, crackle, and pop. And she also loved honeycombs because the shape reminded her of a snowflake. Crazy white man, why did you wake up and kill everybody in the house? I don't remember. He doesn't remember. What an unusual case. We'll have to study this. Crazy nigga, why did you wake up in the project and kill everybody? I don't remember. 2,000 years, nigga, I bet you will remember. When it comes to cereal, these motherfuckers have a deadly craving. In the town where they stay, people donate boxes just to keep them away. It's so serious that in the town where they stay, the local food bank gave them a special place that reads, please do not fuck with these boxes of cereal. They're specifically for the Whitakers. Come in the hood.